go. It's called Port McDonald. Have a look at it. Beautiful little harbour, quiet little town. And just for a few few weeks a year, it goes gangbusters. Have a look at the boats in the car park. It's nuts. Why? Because the ordinary run of tuna, your 15 to 20 kilos, is topped up somewhat with another batch of tuna in the 80 to 150 kilo class. And fishermen from all over Australia just converge on this little town and go out there in the hope of landing a fish of a lifetime. And we're no different. David. Hello mate. Just getting ourselves organised to head out today. Now a lot of people know, watch a lot of our tuna shows, know how we run a specific size lure. We have a game plan. We have a game plan and there's a few reasons why we're doing it. But go through for us mate. What's, going, what's our spread going to be there today on lures? Alright, so today we're doing something a bit different to what we normally do. We're normally matching it, the hatch with a much smaller profile bait. Um, here at Port Mac the bite is on big squid, like 12-13 inch squid. Every barrel that's been cleaned has had big squid in it, so we're running big lures. This is a, a lure that we don't even run for striped marlin because it's that big. Uh, we're going to run that today. That's one. Show us I'm going to go more. through a few of the other ones. So what so brand is that one? Uh, that's a JB. I think it's a chopper. It's definitely a chopper shape. And it's, it's the, job, the job of that lure, obviously, that massive thing is to replicate a squid. <laughs> yep. Alright, what else we got? Alright. This one's slightly smaller, but still you can see that's that's a typical arrow squid size. That's uh, a 12 inch lure still. Yeah, that's a, a, a bill marks. Uh, we know blues and, and pinks and silvers are, have been good colours here lately. Yep. So. Run that one. What's that baby? Hollow point? Run oh. this one. That's a hollow point tuna terror. Um, Brendan's had a lot of success on, on the smaller one of that on big tuna when they've been on smaller bait. So we've gone the, the big version. Uh, that's another 12, I think that's a 12 inch as well. So that's the bullhead. So we'll probably run that one at shotgun. It'll be a subsurface um, just smoking along uh, well back. Last one which I'll be running on the long rigger, another long position, yeah. is a Black Bart Kona Classic. Now that is an arrow squid. It's, a, even got, it's even got the eye set back from the head, which yep. is good. And that is the classic arrow, arrow squid color, brown. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Huge hook. I've actually cut that back about an inch because it was really long. That's still 13 inches though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's 13 incher. Um, you have a look at that on my arm, which is a long arm. <laughs> that's a big lure. That's a monster. That is my favourite lure. That is a that is an arrow squid. That's what that is. I'm a bit nervous about running these out of that big, but I mean it makes sense. So hopefully it works. Dave just hit it on the head. Then we don't need downtime fighting small fish. When you come all this way to catch giants, you want to have every minute out there useful. We can't stop the boat every half an hour to deal with a small tuna. So the idea is that the small tuna shouldn't eat this stuff. You know, we should be. If we get a hit, if a rod goes, we all know it's probably a giant.
Connolly, there's a lot of school tuna busting, but every now and then a big tuna coming through. And that is another reason why we're running these huge, huge lures, because we don't get time held up catching the small ones. The big fish, lazy fish, if they can get an easy meal, it gives them a lot of calories with less effort, rather than, say, collecting 20 or 30 small fish, they're going to take it. That's why we've got these big lures out. Hold on, keep tight, that's all we gotta do. Shane Lowry on the rod, accompanied me over to Prince Edward Island to catch the world's biggest tuna. Jumped in the water with him, was basically there with me side by side, right hand man. Today, we're back in Australia, Southern Australia, South Australia, chasing barrels. And our barrels, okay, they're not thousand pounders, but they're 200, 300 pounders. And uh, they're extremely precious fish to catch. No, it's good that he's on the rod. Just pop that old uh, black bar there, didn't it? The Kona clutch. The Kona clutch. It's not a race, right? We've got light leader. We only run 130 pound leader. Um, we don't want to get a fish up green if the trace of green fish on white chase and pop it off. So we want to make sure the fish is well and truly worn out. Um, Shane said it's come right from the surface, which is good, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's quiet at all. Um, I don't want it in the boat for at least another 20 minutes. 
We'll start trying to we'll try to break the fish between 40 and 60 minutes. Just make sure he uses a lot of energy for big runs. We want to get him doing runs. So I might creep up on him a bit now, Shane. Alright. We're gonna collect some wine, old boy. And then we'll let him run away again and burn more energy. Still at that way, Jack? Yeah. yeah, good. Right. He's right there, he's right there, I can see the lure. Yep, that's it. Right in here. That's good. I thought the lure thing was like this. Thought it was gone from here. Right side of the ear, Dave. Now remember boys, when you go for big tuna, it's like this, over the top, and in. Do it again. Ah, see. As Brendan showed us many times, it's this. Not this, but this. <laughs> My turn in. Yeah, yeah. Get it's going out. Yeah, you're up. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. He's there he oh, there he is. Oh. Oh, he's a good fish. Yeah, he's a real good fish. Atonic Uraniums. All you guys on Facebook came up with names for these glasses. And it's a U-Fish TV Uranium. Anyway, it's a polarised lens and it just lets us cut right through the glare deep into the water. We can see colour down there. Right, so most of the fight we've needed to collect line quickly. The fish has been up on top and moving around, we've been driving off it uh, and then coming back onto it to collect line fast. So Shane was in uh, low gear, collecting line quickly. Now the fish is down deep and it's become more of a dogged fight, Shane's switched to high gear, which means every crank of the handle gets the less line back, but he's got a lot more cranking power. Beautiful work, it's coming up. This is a barrel. There you go, you make the mine. That's it. Again? When he gives it, you, you steal it. Yep, yep, yep. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Oh, he's getting angry. That's actually a better angle, I'm happy with that. Get that for us. And Ellie's just gone. Coming up. You ready to watch him at the back, Joe? Right in there. It's alright. Right there. Oh no. He's just gonna he's just gonna spin around. Oh crape pots are just there. Where? Yeah, out no, no. the back. Out the back. How sure. far? Um, I need ranges, I need data. Oh, about Go 100 meters. 100 meters down the back left. Five o'clock. Oh back right, sorry. Oh I've got to get on top of him soon. Yeah. Shit they're getting close. Yeah. Even if we go near we should be really clear him. It should be pretty close, but that's it for him. I can't even see the line that's right, right, right. Back 
No, can't have another one. If he starts really going under the boat chain, you've got to get him right out of the gimbal and back the drag off. I can't see, watch out. There you go, that's a bit of a plan. Keep going. Whoa, whoa. Point that just straight. Make sure that line's up. This is a beast of a fish. Yeah, he won't give up. We really need that harness back on. We can now, but you couldn't let it through, would you? Yeah. Alright, oh, give me Yeah, yeah. Have a the sound of the camera, Jay. There's a barrel there. Barrel, barrel, barrel. Go, 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 go. He's a son of a Look at him. I've got to go. I've got to go. He's a son of a He's trying to go under the boat on us. He knows what he's doing. You son of a... I've got to get away from you guys. I've got to while, while I can. I've got to bring him in from out wide. You with me? We can't bring him up on this boat from underneath. Good angles. Good angles. Good angles. I'm into this. Look the angle, Joe. He's out he wide from the yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah. Up he comes. You're in this one. We'll probably have a rest up this, I reckon. Probably go back to sleep. Oh. Alright, let's not get complacent. I'm watching you coming at me. I'm going to go forward a bit. I'm going to put him near the transom and then like this for a bit. That's it. Plane him out, it works, it planes him out, see? Yep. There he is. Good work, that is good form. Yeah. That is perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Yes, please, he's going left, yes, he's going left. Here he comes, he's up on his side. Oh. He was nearly giving up then. Yeah. You see that, boys? Yeah. yeah. Sneaking under us, look at that. I'm gonna get away from him. Whoa. Take it off. Easy. Go, 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 go. He was sneaking under, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Freaking animal! Dead boat. Good boat? Yeah. Definitely does it, baby boy. I need to get around on him, on top of him. In front of us. Go boy, you ready? You ready guys? Make sure it's the best camera work. Hang on. Oh. He's trying to get in front of us, he's trying to go under us. Yeah, he's starting to go down a bit. I'm going to have to turn away. Go back to drag off to that shade. You're alright, you're alright. Uh, let him go. Where is he? I can't see him. Down. Right, right here, right here. Under. Yeah. He's all over the Here's a double. Double. Oh, oh, he takes off! Yep. He didn't move that. Let's just show you he's 
got a bit left. Might have been his last did Jack. Where's the goat? Get ready. Is he coming up on his side there? I'm not sure if he's ready. Is he on his side? No, he's not. I'm letting go, Shane. Yep. He's not even ready. That is huge. Woo. That's big. Kind of good, I suppose. He sort of takes it all, but he loses it all pretty quick again. Yeah, he's getting tired. That last run would have hurt him. You think you've just run a marathon, then you're asked to drag a, a car 100 metres. You know what I mean? Feel something like I feel now? Yeah. <laughs> Got a bloody wind problem here. You ready to reach the gap over? He's going to come right up the gap, guys. Down. Step back, Get him! Get him! Yes. Again. 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 Alright. Where is the hand gap? Up here. Up on the okay. board. The hook just fell out. The hook just fell out. Okay. Watch for gas when he's coming in, alright? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Give me the handle. Bigger than our eagle hook, neck fish, Dave. With the tip of the hook, <laughs> Show us a lure, Davey boy. There's a Tiago 50, and there it is. What's it called? Black Bart Kona Classic. Move your hand off the front of it. That's it. Look at it, it's a huge lure, it's 13 inch lure. Massive. Mate, I think I'm retired from tuna fishing. Oh, I'm so happy. That's three how fired, and he had me at a couple of times off. Thought I was gone. He just had so much strength and he dogged us. He didn't take big runs. He just he worked so slow the whole time and it took so long to wear him down. Yeah, I was just so happy to have put this fish in the boat. Change that up, Dave. Look at this. Look at it. Look at the colours in it. That fin sits down look. Sits down in that slot. Back one slots right into. Can he get out? There we go. Unreal. And then the big sickles. Oh, kept it together. Good on you, mate. Good work, kept it together. Good teamwork. Everyone, every single one of you. Well done. <laughs> Woo! What a size of that! His tail is very cut up and hacked. It, it is, yeah. That's Look at you. He's taller than me, this fish. <laughs> Oh, quick. <laughs> it's probably heavier. I've got the